first time on Game Grumps. The secret Kyoko told me about could it really be hidden here? She's just been taking massive dumps into this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take poopies in here! I'm <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I, I, uh, <laughs> oh. Holy uh -oh. crap, what? Uh oh. Sound got stronger and stronger. Mom's badonger. <laughs> <laughs> sha, 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 sha. <laughs> what are we summoning something? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Uh, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down. Listen, me. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aaron from Game Grumps. And also, we've got with us. It me. <laughs> uh, We're here yeah. at the headmaster's office. Yeah, let's go um, inside. He is the master of the head. <laughs> the, t the nameplate on the door said headmaster's room. The headmaster's room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Rattle, rattle. Huh? Door's locked. Son, bitch, I knew it. <laughs> Damn it. I had a bad feeling. I was like, man, we're going to... This is gonna sour our cliffhanger. <laughs> oh, no well. way, dude. Oh, the music room! Uh, ooh. Oh, it's open. Yeah! Sweet. Wow. Oh, uh, damn. Really? <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom, it's more like an actual concert hall. That's what I was gonna say. If <gasps> only Sayaka was here to see this. If only Sayaka! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I always get Sayaka and Sakura <laughs> mixed. Yeah, Is it? man, this this stage. I know someone who would have rocked this stage. Sayaka. <laughs> Is this a grand piano like the one Sayaka used to practice on? <laughs> it seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who could play it, like Sayaka, it's totally useless. No. Nice. Is this a grand piano? No, stupid. It's one piano, not a thousand. <laughs> How would we even fit a thousand pianos in here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what so are you, dumb. blind? <laughs> oh. Hey. You. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. Uh, of my new hair? <laughs> <laughs> what I think, uh, a lot of things. B peanut butter, uh, cran grape, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, not in general, stupid. About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Oh, right. I got clonked over the head. Ah! Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Certainly it wasn't me, the only other yeah. person who knows about the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. But it smelled a lot like Kyoko- WAIT A SECOND! Yeah, yeah. They yelled, it's me, Kyoko, and then everything <laughs> went black. That's all I know for now. <laughs> <laughs> and when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. Like, the mountains of documents and files that are in your hands right now. <laughs> Kyoko? I'm sorry. I know how important those were. It was my Don't fault worry. that you stole them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this soon. <laughs> it's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. The back of your head as I walloped it. <laughs> and I have suspected the mastermind might come after you. What? Because Me, when the I mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> when I discovered the room, the mastermind, i.e. me, must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. I know because it was me looking at myself. <laughs> they must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and then not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted a clear shot to see how the mastermind would react. <laughs> Whoops. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. But to attack you and steal everything in the room. Well, well that's, that's just hilarious. Just <laughs> <laughs> that must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was gonna get attacked? Ah! I'm gonna kill you! You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy with a big melony head just ripe for the smashing. 
<laughs> what does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Then let me ask you something else. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And also, You've do you given know... me a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> then she fades away. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Because that's the note I gave to you. I wrote to you to make sure you'd stand in one spot as I wound up and brought the hammer down. Not here. We don't want to desecrate this sacred land. <laughs> Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So, then. so now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? I peed the bed until I was in fifth grade! <laughs> no, not that secret! <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate bedwetter, like, appears on the screen. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. <laughs> Am I wrong? That's Oh right. I was That's like, what is he hiding? What? <sighs> What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Uh um, and show it well. to the camera. <laughs> hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but I like secrets, so yeah, I've watched an awful lot of friends kill my other friends recently. <laughs> There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. <sighs> wow, tell her or don't tell her? I mean... I I'm... really like her. I, I say tell her. Yeah? I mean, I could be totally wrong. You're 100% wrong. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know, I just want the game to move. Right. I haven't found any conclusive evidence yet, but remember what you said the other day about the secret room? <laughs> Flashback. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence. Oh, so I don't tell her. I tried to tell her and then it didn't work. And it, yeah, it didn't happen? Well, she... <laughs> All right. That's so stupid. Yeah. Sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. The game isn't giving me the option to. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> so, that's your answer? Well, you keep secrets too, Kyoko. Well, what are you hiding w w under that tie and your collar and your zipper? Do you have a weird neck? <laughs> 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 She's like, <gasps> I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share. I'm sorry, I really am. I mean, I'm not, but I want to yeah. make it seem like I am. By I really am means I am really am unwilling to share. <laughs> it's fine. Is it? Goodbye. <laughs> no! I screwed my chance! Oh, frick! Oh, bananas! She doesn't like like me anymore. <laughs> Bananas Foster, no! I think I made her mad. Oh, I've already taken a good look at things around here. So take a good look at things around here. <laughs> You'll see I've my already Kyoko. seen this. <laughs> I've already seen the spotlights, like the one that used to shine down on Sayaka. <laughs> I had to go to the dining hall and talk to the other people. Now we're at yeah. the dining hall. Save yeah, us a lot I'll of tell time. them all my secrets. <laughs> Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a trickle, few minutes... Trickle, trickle, trickle. <laughs> so, is this everyone? C yeah, can you count to five, hero? <laughs> Let's discuss what we all discovered. First of all, I had a fight with Monokuma. I don't know why Makoto didn't bring that up, but... <gasps> that's just what happened. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right, let's just go down the line. Yeah. yeah. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should we did a lot of huffing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like really high right now. <laughs> you all should go take a peek. I highly recommend it. 
I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. That's kind of harsh, dude. Yeah. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, there was also cookies. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was also a bunch of different poisons. Poison? They were labeled. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. And we probably shouldn't tell Pyoko or Toko about the poison, right? Huh? What do you mean? On account of one the of them's a murderer and the other one's probably gonna murder us? Well, <laughs> yeah. well just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Um. <clears throat> just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However, It's... it's Pyaka. He It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put... But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open. That's absolutely the work of a, the mastermind. <laughs> okay. I found a couple rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. So basically, I found nothing. Ah. Yeah. So basically, I found doors. <laughs> the headmaster's room, that sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we could somehow unlock the door and get inside. Who cares about a stupid lock? I'll open it with mind bullets. <laughs> it should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. What? What was that? No, <laughs> but <laughs> continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest tips in town? Is that what you said? Hell no, I didn't. Dude. Play it. Uh, oh, I was gonna be like, play it off. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> just be like, no, no, we're cool. Everything's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah, man. It's the fun. thing about it's the fun. butt. <laughs> what did you say? Cause I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Mm. Knocking down the headmaster's door. What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway, and you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> you're totally mad <laughs> with the little crying symbol. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school of regulations! School no, not regulations! Oh, seriously. Breaking down a dock door is prohibited. There, that's the rule now, you jerks. <laughs> the new rule has been added right. to the regulations menu. Is he gone? Ooh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious and stuff. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room and we'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah, this seems like the time and the place to bring that up loudly. Yeah. <laughs> but now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Next person. <laughs> okay. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. And I punched real hard. Just like everywhere else. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. Escape from New York, however, seems inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> that was to be expected, though. Okay. I'm Kyoko! <sighs> She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto! Does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad! <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like it. I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ugh, this is bad. So, has everyone said what they need to say? I feel like we made some real progress here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We found some doors, and there's a chem lab. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. I haven't been this, de this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Uh, can I say something? It's cause my dad was smoking in bed! That's- no, I have something I'd like to report. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? 
You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? I have a photographic memory. I remember exactly what it was. Yeah, even though no one saw it besides you. <laughs> yeah, I remember what about it. Well, I found another one. Another picture, almost just like that one. Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. And it looked like Celeste was, like, scratching Hifumi's eyes. Yeah, they were having such fun. <laughs> and they, we were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering on the windows. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you find one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayak Say Sayaka? Did they spell it Sakaya for, for that? I don't know. It went by too fast. But how can Oops. that- Wait, hold on, I can check the vlog. Sakaya. <laughs> Wait, has it always been Sakaya? No. No, it's Sayaka. Okay. Boy, that okay, would've- just That would've been here. a real Bernstein, Bernstein situation. <laughs> yeah. But how can that- Monokuma must've faked- But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it there would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just- It's like some profound moment and you like can't see- There must be some- There's uh, there's something! Duh! <laughs> that we just don't- We don't- It's- We- Because we're not thinking- Oh, shit. <laughs> can't be, it's a fake. <laughs> but Monokuma said it was real. And we should absolutely always trust him about everything. I know we could- We could just write that off as a lie, but... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because. No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friend. <laughs> that's not- You're just- You're just stirring the pot. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Runs away. What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come come on. on, guys. Stop fighting or, or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't you. fake that picture. <laughs> oh. That's weird. You cut out for like Take a Take it from minute. me. Guy who's admittedly <laughs> right 30% of the time. <laughs> He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Yes, thank you. You you might be right, but still. Uh. Right. Oh, it's probably Byakuya. Are you still so conflicted? Yeah. Oh, it's Byakuya. <laughs> Byakuya! You have the same sunken look on your faces. <laughs> like a bunch of stupid ass, someone just stabs him. It's like, finally. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone just say it was someone else. <laughs> Everyone say it was Toko. Are we done here? Okay, cool. <laughs> hmm. Sinking into a pile of manure. You know? just a second. Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone. You're not part of this. Here we stand. Can, can somebody, can somebody please kill this guy? Can somebody please just... It's like, God, what a piece of shit. And like, not smart. Like, I don't know. <laughs> concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? That's fine. Lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. So would you like to know today's lottery numbers? <laughs> <laughs> he was taking a bath? Byakuya never takes a bath! Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Ah, oh, good idea! 
<laughs> mixed bath? A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. A mixed bath! <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go. I was taking a bath. What else do you want to know? When I got all to right. the dressing room, oh, crap. Toko was ready to murder me. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here with Alter Ego has to say too? I already I already heard it with Master. With, with Master! You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? Shut up! Stop be bothering me! Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Get I'll say, out of here. I'll say it loud enough for every camera in this place to pick it up. <laughs> no, I made a master of pee promise. A promise? No, a pee promise. <laughs> I like how wait here as a key word is, is like still stuttered. <laughs> master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. What are you, his dog? If that's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. I'll even be in a TikTok video. <laughs> be on a leash and just eat. What? I froze. If that's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. Even if he put me in a TikTok video where I'm on a leash in a McDonald's and he's feeding me Big Mac. Is, oh, what, yeah. is that a thing? <laughs> that's absolutely a Jeez. thing. Man, I don't, I don't watch TikTok. I don't TikTok. want the internet anymore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah, shit. You just love being- okay. Uh, oh, well, fine. Insulted? If you really want me to go, by all means- Ah, shit, it's on auto! Fuck! Okay, there we go. Oh, God. What is happening? Hey, guys! What's going on? <laughs> um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> oh, man, that was so funny to me. <laughs> First a mega masochist. I know, it's just such a... <laughs> She's a mega masochist. He's a super sadist. Tune in next Friday at 7 p.m. for bed. <laughs> Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop. I can't get to it. Oh, hey, move, please. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to deal with bag. Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo. One, drop to your knees. Two, beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, My queen, <laughs> step on me. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> you. Please let us use the laptop. Everyone thought I didn't like it, but I did. Yeah! Oh, God. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pen of anger and master for abusing me is evaporating. Even so, even you realize it's abuse. That, no. that should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, everyone. Oh, cheer. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> yeah. Hi! I, I definitely didn't murder anyone. Everyone come closer. I already told Pyakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Boy, I pulled a Charizard. I pulled a Raichu. Sorry to have to keep you waiting. Correct. Okay. Just what I thought. I see. <laughs> a first edition Charizard. Finally, the time has come. Um, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way resting on the keyboard. I was like a kitty cat. My hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Also, there was a sharpened blade being pushed into my back. Wound. Uh, wounded. I moved to let her take over. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? 
Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. There was like a lot of porn on here, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> With that face, that's awesome. <laughs> and one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here to isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan, but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. D that's... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't know. I can't think. But what's yeah. more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What a revelation. Yeah, this is, this is all pretty thinkable, <laughs> honestly. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here, it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. It was the school itself? Ooh. How The Shining. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why would they do that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in history. It was the, it was the hurtest, most dumbest, most stupid, heckest event in history. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy. <laughs> It was apparently Jeez. some sort of devastating occurrence because of the tragedy. Yeah. Hope Speaking Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school in close town. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. Not really. <laughs> I'm not all the way there, Kyoko. Talk me through. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. Right. Should we flash and back whatever, to it? Yeah. The Office, Season 8, when Michael Scott left. And whatever it was, <laughs> it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. Yeah. Or Clerk, Season 5. From, the <laughs> From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. There's just way too much porn. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then is this really the end? Is there no more information on that computer? <laughs> Is it possible to look up a reverse gangbang? <laughs> we'll get halfway through the answer and that's it? <laughs> it would appear so disappointing. Oh, wait. No. Sorry, I just waded through some of the other porn. There's one other thing <laughs> I forgot to mention. I think it might be important and... <laughs> okay, I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyogo's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. They flew the off! Mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, is here in this video getting DP'd. <laughs> Was the Hope's Peak headmaster. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that one. <laughs> so that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. Oh crap. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. Headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? But where could he be? <laughs> we'll never know! Couldn't possibly be in a room labeled headmaster! With the locked office? <laughs> <laughs> then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. Serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? Uh. <laughs> I'll find a way. 
Through gritted teeth. I'll find a way. I'll find a way. <laughs> huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter the cost. So, Yoko, no what's going on? No matter how many dicks he has to take. <laughs> No matter if it's DP or a TP, I don't care. Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? Seriously, I'm scared. When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. <laughs> okay, then, that settles it. <laughs> beep -boop, beep -boop, beep -boop. <laughs> no. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, but she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty buried. <laughs> Old. <laughs> so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. Then it really is all over. Hey. Except not at all. <laughs> Wait. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. Um, well, after I got through Bukaki, I found some other stuff. <laughs> it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste, Fumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. What? They went to a farm <laughs> where they can run around with all the other students. <laughs> What? A farm? And they didn't invite me? I love agriculture! <laughs> I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but it really happened. Oh, sorry. I forgot I'm a computer and I don't have emotions. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. <laughs> like getting depressed, I can't do that either. <laughs> well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that had so much meaning. I, I guess. I don't know. Sure, sure. Anyway, next time on Game Grumps, we'll find out more about this mystery. Oh, man, I love it. All right, see you then, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. I am going to let my dog downstairs, Aaron. Oh, I shall okay. return in a moment. I'm going to put my dog uh, out.